Hello my friends, welcome to Complete Marine Stock Project Series. Throughout this series, we will create a project called Bookkeeping App or Book Catalog. As the name implies, since this is a Marine Stock project, let's see the technologies we are going to use for this project. We are going to use Node Express, React Redux, MongoDB, and mongoose and aside this we will deploy to heroku and this project also have authentication so because of that we will use json web token and bcrypt for authentication and authorization so let's see the demo for this project before i move on you can see that this is a live project that I have deployed to Heroku. So I will provide a link in the description below and then complete project repository if you want to have a guess and look at your free time. All right. So this is a simple, but not a simple project as we see. It involves a lot. So throughout this series, we will learn a lot and I will teach you the hooks and apps when it comes to main start project. Okay, so without much talking, let's see the demo for this project. When I click on about, it gives me a pop-up and you can see the functionalities about this project. We have register user, update profile, login, user dashboard, list of users, list of booths, and many other things that we can think of. All right, so let's see what's involved. The purpose for this project is to learn the crowd operation, authentication, and database um, situation, and how to design your schema and model. Now, let's see the demo for this project. When I register as an existing user, okay, when I click on register, it tells me that user exists. Okay, so now let me um, register as a new user. Let me call this one don two, and then the email will be don two at at gmail dot com, and my password will be this. So when I click register, you see a spinner, and I have additional tabs. The most interesting part is that as soon as I register, it logs me in automatically. Okay, I have additional tabs called books, add books, users, logout. Okay, so when I click this drop icon, I will see additional field for this user. I have a profile, add books, and books. I have logout. So now let me log out again and log in as the user that I registered. Okay, so now let me log in as a different email. Or login credentials it tells me that invalid credentials because this email doesn't exist this error is coming from the back end all right so let me log in as done to at gmail.com and my password you see a spinner and I have my profile being populated as that so now that I've logged in I have access to create books and add books and other stuff so when I click on profile, you see that I have a spinner that was spinning up. As you can see, the name and then the email and the username. And here I can update the person profile. This picture is a dummy picture I used. As you can see, on this table, we have this user don't have any book being yet created. So now that I have logged in, I can create a book in my name. When I go to books, I can see all the books that other users have been created. So let me add book and then add it into my name. Let me call this one. Let me call this one Ben. And the book will be Node 2020. Click Create. Okay. So now that I've created this book, all right, um, let me go to my profile. As you can see, that book has been added to my profile here. At the same time, it has been added to all the books other users have been created. Okay, so let's see how to update your, your profile. All right, 
So when I click on update profile, as you can see that the name has been populated here. So when I change this one, done three, okay, like that. And then I click on update, I can change the password, okay, but I don't want to change the password. But at the same time, I can change the email as well. So when I click on update profile, it tells you that updated successfully, log out and log in with the new credentials. All right. So now that I have updated my username, when I refresh it like that, and I have to log out and log in with my new updated. So here is done to at gmail.com. And I log in and I have done three. That's what I updated it. Okay. So now, when I go to books, let's see the crawl operation. Let me update this book I created. No, I can update any book any person have created. So I can also um, do in such a way that only you can update what you create. But uh, after you go through this one, you know how to implement that functionalities as well. So when I click on update, let me go back. When I click on, let me go to books, sorry, books here. Let me click on update. As you can see, I have the fields being added. Let me call this one, Ben 2. Let me call this one, 2022. Great update. Let me refresh it. As you can see that it has been updated here. When I click delete, refresh it, and you can see that book has been deleted from my database. And you can see all users list of users on this um, platform. All right, so this is the name, the last person who registered. Okay, so guys, so this is what you are going to create by the end of this project. So if you're happy as I am, get some coffee, sit back, and then let's get started.